Welcome back to the Red Carpet Show. I'm Gemma, that's Mike. We are recording this on Halloween, so I am going a little bit, you know, witchy with the look today, if you're wondering why I've suddenly become like a pseudo goth teen over here. I don't know, this is getting flannel, it's, it's cold, it's But rainy, I've whatever. got a, a Frankenstein, it's a Frankenstein. Amazing. Uh, the World Series just ended, which means we have even more time to look at MLB player fashion. And um, we're gonna start with some players who were near or around the World Series, if not actually playing in it. Uh, number one, Lance McCullers. Um, Bringing tie-dye all the way back. Everybody's into it now, you can't help it. It is so weird. I literally, and I'm not making this up, I swear, the sex, I got on the train today, someone in this entire outfit came on. No Tie-dye sweatshirt, tight jeans, shorts, glasses. Like, And I remember when he got on the train, I was like, what's your deal, man? Wait, he's wearing uh -huh. jeans and also shorts? Sorry, what? <laughs> I meant shoes. <laughs> so. I mean, this seems to be an Astros tie-dye, like an intentionally, like we're doing orange and blue sort yeah. of look here. I feel like this is like an incredibly chill, casual look. <laughs> um, this is not like I'm getting dressed up for what might be a decisive game seven for my team. It's like, I'm rolling in. I brought everybody a coffee. I, I don't know. I'm just feeling real loose. That, he didn't play, obviously, so right. a, different, a different life for but him. But th that sounds sort of like the college experience. Like, hey, I made it to class. Sorry, professor. This is a very, very collegiate look. This guy is playing frisbee golf <laughs> on the quad. I went to NYU. I don't really know what people do on a quad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you had to add an emoji to this look, what would you add? Uh, the emoji I'm going to add for this one, it's the peace sign because this is a 60s throwback, uh, the tie-dye, and it's just like blowing up everywhere. That's ha great. Yeah, how about you? What, do you? what are you adding? Um, if there was a hacky sack, I would add that. <laughs> but I, I make up emojis all the time, and I actually don't think that there is a hacky sack. So I'm just going to toss a skateboard right in there. I, I imagine him like just with his foot out. He's just flipping it up. This is like a very, what if Tony Hawk was a little bit more hippie? Yeah. That's, that's what I got. <laughs> Hacky sack and skateboard, generally same vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. The hang, maybe they can see the hang loose. <laughs> Another Astro, constant, constant featured, not guest, uh, someone we talk about a lot on this show, Alex Bregman. Now, Alex Bregman, you might be thinking, okay, this guy, he's just like wearing a shirt and some like workout pants and sneakers. What is this? Well, this is the look that earned him the nickname Stinky <laughs> from his teammates because he has a tradition in postseason. If the team is winning, he will wear the same outfit until they stop winning. And as you may or may not know, the Astros won all three games they played in D.C. So Bregman wore this outfit for Five days in a row would be my guess, because he wore it for the three DC games, probably for the travel day, and then again, probably coming to the park in Houston. Uh, so that's that's why we're going to talk about this outfit. Yeah. Now, does this look like a a blessed winning outfit to you? Uh, no, this is more <laughs> of a cursed image. <laughs> Uh, I mean, listen, it's a fine outfit. I'm wearing something remarkably similar. Yeah, I was going to say, like, how can you say that it's cursed? Like, you're just wearing, you're both wearing, like, this plaid look thing. Right. It, listen, it's the most basic uh, dude look. Like, I, I don't really know what I'm doing, but this is what's in my closet. But uh, also, I assume he's now burnt this outfit because they lost the World Series. So we're never going to see mm. this one again. I I mean, I think that if I was gonna pick something that I had to wear multiple days in a row like this, wearing a loose fitting shirt and like comfy pants, not a bad choice. Right. Not a bad choice. It's yeah. not white either. Because if you're wearing something for multiple days, you really don't wanna wear anything white that might show stains. You're like, ah, it's cold. I'm just gonna eat this bowl of ramen. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so if you were gonna add an emoji to this outfit, what would you add? So I'm going full stinky. I'm doing the monkey covering covering up his nose. Oh, so, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, I think he's covering his mouth. Like, there's three. There's, yes, there's, see no evil, hear no evil, speak smell no, no evil. Speak no evil. Oh, that's the <laughs> that's the mouth. Because I, I looked through him, I was like, oh, that looks like he's covering up his nose. Stink, stinky monkey. <laughs> um, <laughs> guess I was wrong on that. Emojis are very small. I will go <laughs> if that's I unacceptable. Mean, you can keep it. That's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a ruler. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted like a measuring tape, like a cloth measuring tape, but there is no cloth measuring tape emoji, unfortunately. Um, um, because maybe uh, he will, instead of burning this outfit, take it to a tailor and it will become fitted <laughs> and or he will make it into like a memory quilt that will be part of his postseason memories. A, a dark yeah. memory quilt. No, I mean like a lot of things were really good about this series and some things were not, but like he can take part of the shirt and he can make it part of like a project like that instead of setting it on fire. Uh, and now 
our favorite, mm -hmm. our favorite baseball player, I think, on Red Carpet Show, Carlos Martinez, in a hotel room yep. somewhere in some place, um, with a scoop neck job. Yes. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, I really, really like it. This has kind of like it's an all black club kid feeling to me, except for the orange detail on the shoes. Um, maybe this is a Halloween look. It really works as a Halloween look for me. Um, I think it's so exciting. I, I really adore this look. It, it, and it all comes to that scoop neck, which you just don't see men wear, like the way this fits. He mm -hmm. looks like, uh, to me, a tactical ballerina. And that's what <laughs> I really like about that. Well, I get it. Yeah, it does kind of have, I had a leotard that had that same scoop neck yeah. <laughs> for like the 12 days that I did ballet. This is kind of like, what if they made Top Gun a ballet? <laughs> a ballet. Also. Which they should do. <laughs> I would watch it. I mean, I would definitely watch it. How would I feel about it? I, I don't know, but yeah. I would definitely watch it. Um, so if you were going to add an emoji to this incredibly fire outfit, what would you add? Oh, that's a, that is a really, really tough one. I'm going ballet shoes uh, so that he can fully go undercover in, in the ballet movie. So. Really, I really like that. Yeah, how about you? What are you doing? Um, I'm going to add a top hat yes. to the top of the head. Because I, I, this really does feel like West Village Halloween parade, like club kid throwback to me. And it needs at least one over the top accessory. I mean, I, I did think momentarily he was wearing two watches, <laughs> which would have worked. But one is a bracelet and one is a watch. Um, so I just, I just want something else that has sort of that level of element, the production element to it. So I'm going big top hat. And last, but certainly not least, Johnny Cueto sitting on the smallest chair in the world, <laughs> wearing an outfit that is too big even for this photo. <laughs> ah, I love Johnny Cueto. I don't know where he gets this stuff, but it is all, everything he wears is perfect and I wish I owned. Uh, the shirt, shorts, connection is really fun and delightful. The street art vibe, the feeling. Um, he looks really chill. He looks really relaxed. I'm super into it. Yeah, I, I love this. The, the street art thing is perfect because like this made me think of like Keith Haring's work and like you know '90s um, like uh, graffiti. Graffiti. There we go. It was like <laughs> spray paint art. I was like, that's certainly not the word. You're yeah. very cool. <laughs> very cool. very hip. <laughs> the kids and their spray paint art. <laughs> no, I, I, I love like, that. You like go to the art store. You're like, could I have a. Uh, 10 spray paints, and they're like, that guy's a cop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but th this looks like something that really did come out of like 1993 from the vintage store, and it, and it looks really cool, and I, I really dig that. Yeah, he wears it very genuinely, too. Mm -hmm. It's not like, oh, I just bought this entire thing because I saw it like in the window display of the vintage store. It's like, I've just been holding on to this since like the late 90s. I've yeah. got it. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Um, I just think it's so fun, and it also is like, Oh, right, there is life after baseball. The season is over, but mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that baseball players are going to stop being fun and interesting. Johnny Cueto has never stopped being fun or interesting. Right. So I, I just think it's great. It fills me with joy and warmth. OK, if you had to add an emoji to this look, what would you add? I'm adding the painter emoji, because this is very artistic. It's very fun. And you would imagine someone who wears something like this is is about to do something creative. With so, a spray paint. With a, with a spray paint. He's about to go do some spray paint art. <laughs> Incredible. How about you? What are you doing? Um, I wanted to add like a parasol. Okay. Because um, I thought that would, because it's sunny, it's bright, um, but there are no parasols, but there is an, um, an umbrella and it's purple. So I want to add that because I think that this is missing some of the purple palette. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just going to, it's going to give me the same vibes of like a sunshiny, colorful day. And that is what I want. Okay. That was the red carpet show for this week. We had so much fun doing it. We hope you had fun watching. As always, if there are any players you would like to see us talk about, just drop those in the comments and we will get to them next week. This is the Red Carpet Show. It happens every Friday. Baseball player fashion chat time. I'm Gemma, that's Mike, and we'll see you in a week. Absolutely. It's so loose. How did he it ever really is. It by the shirt? It's the baggiest thing I've ever seen. How does it even have buttons? What's the point of having <laughs> buttons for a shirt that doesn't fit you? You can just put it on over your head. <laughs>